Okay, so I'm not sure if this is going to become part two, um, or I'll just try and chuck it on the end of the uh, the um, TRX um, <laughs> video. I'm going to call this the TRX video, because um, I've learned so much from uh, Peter. I'm sure it's Peter. Sorry if I've got that name wrong. I'm pretty sure it's Peter. Uh, my apologies if I've got that wrong. Um, I certainly watch enough of your videos, although you don't mention your name very much, so, you know, that's that's probably why. Um, if you're watching, Peter, I'm Brenton, Australian, uh, learning from you every day. All right, um, so this is the IC7000, and uh, have a look at this. One, it powers up, uh, which is good. Two, hello, test one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two. So it transmits. Ah, does it receive? 0.5 of a microvolt going into that. And that's hearing 0.5 nicely. Obviously, uh, <laughs> receives. Amazing. Um, if you've ever, you know, had a job where you think, oh, I'm not confident I'm going to get this back together and working, this was definitely it. Um, I've got to be honest, I was really, really, really concerned that, um, uh, and there's been a lot of hours gone into this, uh, some of it learning hours to be very fair, but, um, you know, um, there's nothing like getting stuck into something and, you know, just basically then putting it all back together again, which is sort of what's happened here. Uh, now, just a couple of tips, well, not tips, uh, probably things not to do. Uh, I ended up fitting a little electrolytic in, there was a shorted electrolytic, uh, which is probably sitting on my bench here somewhere. Uh, uh, hang on, I'll just see if I can find that actually because this might be of interest. Okay, so much for the capacitor. With all my excitement, all I can find is that uh, 4.7 ohm uh, resistor that came off the, um, that's the little fella down there uh, that was cracked in half. And um, I wish I, oh, I'm, I'm looking like nothing else down on the ground and I'm, I'm trying to find, but it's so small. No, look at this. This is a stack of Expo fan and communicators. I've got to get to those. Um, I'm just going to have one more look. I'd love to show you the cap and what exactly what it measured. Unfortunately, gone to God, I don't know where. It's so small, and I wish... Anyway, uh, let me just tell you um, a couple of things. Whilst I can't show you the part that is so, so small... Um, well, when I say so, so small, uh, let me see if I can find one on the board in here that's a similar sort of size, because they're not that small. Um, let me change glasses so I can see what I'm looking at here. Big problem on these days. If you can imagine something about half the size of this here, um, little 100 mic um, surface mount. So look, you know, they're actually quite large. What I wanted to point out was, I took a 100 mic um, this size, and you can fit them behind uh, this, um, this whole, uh, this front, in the remote front. Uh, they will fit, fit in there. Uh, quite comfortably and uh, a very big thank you to uh, Steve VK3 Oscar Tango uh, Steve um, <laughs> he sent me up so many bits tantalums electrolytics bits and pieces and he, he sort of knows what I do with you know enjoy restoring stuff for collecting bits and pieces and uh, and you know you've never got the right part generally I'm gonna change glasses I'm gonna go it's all right I'm just there for my real close-up work um, and, uh, you know, to be able to go into my little parts room and go, I was going through Steve's stuff and I went, hey, <laughs> good on you. So to VK3OT, um, uh, thanks, Steve, um, really. Um, and you may know him as VK3SIX as well. That's Sierra Italy X-Ray, by the way. Um, I'm going to say that a bit, fun, a bit slow, I don't know. Um, and um, he holds quite a few six-metre records. There's no question about that. Anyway, thanks, Steve. Uh, so yes, you can fit a um, uh, just a normal electrolytic in the back there. Um, I ended up replacing two side-by-side -side caps because I sort of figured if one could go, the other one could go as well. Uh, and the other thing was, um, uh, I can't show you now, but unfortunately, uh, where this uh, fella here was, you can just take a normal 4.7 quarter watt uh, or half watt. It'll fit quite easily there. You've got enough room to be able to put uh, something in place of this very, very small um, uh, surface mount. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of stock of surface mount. I don't, I don't think I have any stock of <laughs> surface mount apart from what I steal off boards. Um, and I probably need to look at that some stage. Um, I did um, 
by these tweezers the other day, which, you know, it would have been a good chance to... Oh, optometrist, <laughs> good on you. Um, it's all right, let's throw that away. Um, yeah, now, you know, it's, being able to get in there and just uh, take little surface mount bits off, this will be very handy. Um, and we've got a few other things for doing surface mount as well. But, um, uh, you know, sometimes the most simplest things work the best. Anyway, so, yeah, um, in the end, the regulator was uh, was fine. Both the 8-volt, 5-volt regulators were fine. But there was this, uh, you know, cap that was shorting everything and... Uh, you know, it was pulling the regulator down, didn't kill the regulator. Now, I was registering about 16 ohms, uh, so it wasn't a direct short. Uh, it was about 16 ohms, but um, obviously that was uh, really playing up with the uh, pulling the voltage down. Now, now, the thing about the IC7000 is when it does its little micro computer check and says, um, am I going to fire up? It's looking for 5 volt and 8 volt lines as well as, you know, checking it's, um, it's uh, above um, 12 point something volts as well. Um, so there's, you know, there's really a few checks it does. Now, if you hear those relays clicking, it's missing that 5 or 8 volt line uh, generally, you know, sort of from what I can ascertain. I had a real good look at the circuit and um, I'll tell you what, um, I mean, that's what took half the time is trying to understand the circuit and tracing through. But not only do I watch TRX Bench, who tells me, you know, to check volts more and more and make sure that, you know, things are actually, there's a path and where does the path go? VK7RX, uh, good old Bobcat Electronics, um, uh, great mate of mine. Uh, uh, Bob has been really, really pushing me to, to, you know, stop guessing faults and trace faults. So the last couple of years, that's exactly what I've been doing is trying to trace faults more. And um, don't get me wrong, I'm not adverse to a shortcut. If there's a faster way to fix something, please tell me. I've, I've got no problem with that. That's, that's always... Um, but, you know, learning the, the principles of tracing, um, you know, electronics. And, and that's why I sit there for an hour and a half at a time watching a video by TRX um, in Germany because he teaches you these fantastic practices. Um, and Bob... 7RX, I hope you start doing videos, mate, because um, you'd be teaching a lot of people. Uh, although, you know, if you're going to make any money in the service game, uh, you know, you might might want to um, not teach them too much. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, I'm kidding. Uh, but uh, certainly um, most of us, uh, it's it, we're, we're pretty much just restoring and doing what we do. We enjoy it, which is a bit of fun. Uh, but, yeah, this one's going well. Um, I might just hook it up onto an antenna. Let's, I don't know what antenna I've got hooked up, but let's, let's find out. Okay, I just, um, well, <laughs> i tell you what, I've just put onto a 40 meter antenna, and uh, I wonder if Jim would hear me, um, <clears throat> you never know. Jeez, Jim's booming in. And g'day, VK3 Charlie Mike. Never know, they might hear me. They might not. Whoa! I think we'll call this part two. Um, I won't have to edit then. Certainly receiving nice. Isn't it funny, you know, such a, such a um, interesting fault to have to fix and, you know, one that you could easily write off the radio if you really sort of got a bit depressed. Trust me, I have trashed the odd radio with a hammer sometimes. <laughs> not true, not with a hammer, but uh, felt like it. But um, it's good when you get them back up and going and running. Now, is that preamp on or off? Oh, no, that's preamp uh, off. And now preamp's on now. Geez, what does that make Jim with preamp? Unbelievable. These guys are coming very well. I haven't set the mic gain or anything or the power output or anything at all yet, so um, it'll just be as it's been reset, uh, had a microprocessor reset uh, that I did. Look at Jim with the preamp. I'll take the preamp off. Oh, just bad timing then. <laughs> but I think Jim's about 20, 20 over 9 without preamp at times. Hey, 
Hey, thanks, Jim. Um, VK3, Charlie, Mike. Um, haven't really sort of uh, set this radio up yet. Um, I've just been repairing this IC7000, um, and uh, uh, this has been a few days of mucking around with it and just, you know, getting back to it and doing a bit here, doing a bit there. Uh, but uh, uh, so um, I just um, got home and finished it off and thought, right, anyway... Uh, just wondering how we're sounding to you, if it's uh, coming through okay. You are coming through 20 over 9, mate, and I'm just doing a little video. Um, just, uh, you were, you, you, you'll fall over when you see your signal. You, mate, you were 20 over, beautiful. Um, when I put the preamp on, uh, of course, you're 40 over. So um, uh, that's just out in the workshop here, uh, just on a little dipole go ahead. And don't mind Jim's audio at the moment. Um, I'm uh, I'm actually um, just saying the video. Well, I'm just running an extension speaker a, a little way away. Uh, sorry, I was just commenting on your audio, Jim, uh, in the fact that it's sounding good, but it, it may not be picking up as well as it should be because I've, I've, I just realised I've got it plugged in the extension speaker on the other side of the bench. But I can hear you well. <laughs> Absolutely. Mate, I'll, I'll just um, finish this video off and I'll come back in a second. But, um, uh, yeah, it seems to be working. So, oh, mate, it's this... Uh, look, um, if you get a chance to have a look at the video, you'll see... We had this in a million pieces, and I, I, I didn't think it was going to come back together, to be honest. But uh, anyway, um, you know, <laughs> I think sometimes you've got to put things, put the tools down, walk away, and come back later, eh? <laughs> VK2 QA, VK3 Charlie Mike. I'll be back in a tick. I'll just finish this off. Yeah, but that's when I forget what I, how it goes back together. Yeah. That's why I take lots of photos nowadays. <laughs> All right, Brendan, catch you shortly. Okay. I'll just go up and down the band a little bit, just uh, to... See, oh, she's working beautifully. Tell you what, I'm on uh, fast there. I'll go to slow just so we can sort of, that's better. Oh, by the way, I did fix the VFO too. Don't laugh at this, but um, I've, I've got another one that's uh, coming up. Um, uh, I've got a... Um, and, and let me just turn this down for a second. Uh, you won't believe this. Uh, same deal. Um, uh, I don't can't remember. I don't think that one's got the relay noise coming into it. Um, and um, I've, I've just have, had a bad run on seven thousands. Um, I wanted to buy one for the um, for Sam's Samantha's Ute to put in there. First one I got, um, uh, which is this one. Uh, no go with the click click sort of thing happening that you've seen in the videos. Well, I've got another one. Uh, only just came in today and I've just emailed the guy, well, SMS, sorry, uh, what did I do? I, I PM'd him, that's right, we PM people these days, don't we? Anyway, uh, to say, mate, look, <laughs> you know, not your fault that this is the second one I've got from somebody that doesn't work, but can I possibly send this one back to you and you have a look at it? Because I'm, you know, <laughs> anyway, we'll see what he says. But um, uh, but yeah, so we just can't win on um, uh, 7,000s lately. Doesn't matter. You know, you got to just sort of roll the punches and, um, uh, and uh, oh, what's the other saying? If it's too good to be true, price-wise, it probably is, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, this one at least has been a, a good result and um, it's uh, certainly great to, um, to uh, you know, just hear the band a little bit active. Uh, this is just a dipole too, just a bit of wire. Um, so, um, so really, um, coming back down to Jim here. Well, that's not Jim, though. <laughs> I'm not sure who's that. That is. That might be VK4PA. All right. Well, look, I'll say 73s. Um, thanks for sticking in there uh, to get to part two. Uh, and, um, uh, yes, there, there's sort of uh, been a bit of um, <laughs> time in between things at times, so please don't get the impression that I uh, I just soldiered on. No, uh, I've actually been holding the, uh, the other video for a bit just to uh, finally get uh, some sort of positive result. Anyway, we got there in the end. Oh, yeah, it's VK4PA. 73s, all the best. Thanks very much for having a look at my IC7000. Uh, bit of fun. And um, uh, and uh, TRX Bench, we love you. Uh, thanks very much for some of the, the great uh, principles that you've been sort of teaching. And also Bob, 7RX, um, uh, down in Tassie. Mate, thanks very much for all your help in uh, making this old fella remember some of his old apprentice stuff, which um, I'll tell you what, guys, I mean... I know some of you know that I'm a bit sick at the moment and things, you know, but uh, <laughs> I think there's more going on with me, with my memory that, you know, that's got nothing to do with being sick. That's just getting old. 7.3 is all the best. Thanks very much for having a look at the video. And please subscribe. Cheers all.